very, very expensive things. So, mate, I run a type ship around here. Four channels, and I can say four channels because I actually did put a tank miss out. Where it's, you know, filmed, directed, written, produced, and edited by yours truly. Ah, oh, jeez, and I do five drum streams a week, and the massive Patreon, <laughs> it is hard to keep up with. And... It's taken a long time, a lot of thinking and planning stuff, working stuff, not working, to get to this point where I'm able to do this every single week. And there was a big turning point when I was able to pull this off. Like This channel actually started on a home-built Windows machine running Adobe. And uh, let's just say, um, yeah, going back to Mac and using Final Cut, uh, boy, did I save a lot of time. <laughs> you didn't turn on your machine and have an eight-hour update that would just automatically run whether you wanted it or not. In this video, I don't want to make it seem pointless to never get like a really expensive thing that you're going to keep for a really long time. Because like a pet peeve of mine of products today is that, you know, with a lot of online shopping and stuff, you could pick up anything for like 50 bucks. But the issue is, I mean, trying to be more mindful of the things that I'm buying. Like you don't know how it was made, the toxic stuff released into the air while they're making it, the working conditions for the people there to make it that cheap, not even considering their wages. And then when you're done with this thing that's made out of rubbish, that you got to send it to landfill where you don't know if it's going to leach chemicals into the groundwater for 50 years you know and mate this year I bought one of those Apple Studio displays. I really speed up my editing and filming process because honestly, all my junk's filmed on an iPhone and then smashed through Final Cut on a MacBook. Just airdrop the footage over and you're done. That is so slick. Mate, Garbage Time, for instance, my car channel, I don't even use a mic. <laughs> that is raw iPhone, a bit of compression added on the audio, and then I send it. And I finally put together a home office. Usually I do all my editing here at the studio, which is nice. I'm trying to draw that work, home life sort of thing, you know, where I finish work and go home and don't do any more, which is really tough when you enjoy your work. But I finally wanted to have a home office where I could actually work from home. And so, mate, I picked up one of those two and a half thousand dollar Apple Studio displays. And look, to, to, straight out of the box, like, what's good about it? I like that it's made out of glass and aluminium. It actually has a chance of being turned into something else. But most working professionals couldn't care about that. Uh, a big thing about the display is the color accuracy. For most of us, we don't even think about if the colors we're looking at on the display are actually the colors in real life. Now imagine if you're doing digital art or printing, you know, the purple you're seeing on the screen may not be the purple that comes out of the printer, but a big time saver for me. And I'm down to these little kind of bits. The fact that a single USB-C cable plugged into my MacBook Pro, boom, power, video, done. You're editing. It sounds tiny, but mate, again, four channels, a stream, a Patreon, like, Every second counts. Other things that the hype on about is, you know, the fact it's got a built-in webcam, which most of us are going to put a piece of paper over so don't have to deal with it. And it's got inbuilt speakers, which sounded fine. Totally not smashed by even the smallest bookshelf speakers, mind you. But man, it was like one cable plug, boom, you're working. I mean, I love using my MacBook. I have two setups at two locations, and all they're missing is the computer. And I'll just go, you know, plug it in, edit here, plug it in, edit there. I should get a server. I really should. What, Linus, mate, what, you, you give me a hand, hey? Like, you know? You, what? Mm? But I do like bringing the actual machine with me. I don't have to sync it over our horrible Australian internet. And I liked it. It's not a big display, but it's a nice display. And I mean, there's another thing to the big money as well, which is reliability. I just need it to work. It's more important than anything for it to work. Uh, you know, in garbage time, a lot of the tools we've been buying, even name brand stuff, is miserable and terrible. And <laughs> like so much of it is just doomed for the bin. And so many people jump out and say, well, you need to return it. Otherwise, they're never going to get the message that their stuff is rubbish. And I respond with, I'd love to. With what time? Like, you got to stop everything you're doing and deal with this fiddly rubbish that shouldn't have broken in the first place. And I've seen, like, Apple's previous, like, high-end professional displays, their Thunderbolt displays, they're still going hard. They're still worth money. Like, the specs are decent. The glare is really terrible. <laughs> but they are stinking ancient, and they're still worth using. And so, built on that precedent, that's why I got one. Because I could. I can just use this display for upwards of 10 years and not even think about it. Well, um, I owned mine for about mm, two months. I think I used it a total of mm, six times. <laughs> and uh, it's dead. Get back. Why? 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 It's just a display. Just show the thing. She's gone, mate. Gone. The restore screen of 
dead. So obviously I've done something horribly wrong. What were you doing with it, mate? Juggling? W were you testing the consistencies of different Vegemites on the screen and on the PCB? Uh, no. I installed an update. Yep. That cantankerous giant aluminium idiot needs software updates. I'm going to blame the webcam and microphones that are inbuilt into it. They're humongous security risks. You know, if someone gets into it and manages to get access, they can just watch you. So yes, you would want security updates for stuff like that. But honestly, that's what I did. I installed an update. It kept begging me for it. That morning, I kept seeing the update and I'm like, fine. Fine, I'm, I'm gonna do it, and this is how I was rewarded. And now the plot gets plottier. I didn't buy it from Apple directly, because I can't stand going into their store. It's right in the middle of the city. I stink and hate the city. There's no parking. It's impossible to get around stuff, especially carrying a display that big. So I actually bought it from JB Hi-Fi, which is like a big retail electronics, bit of everything kind of store. They're quite famous for their very funny memes. Yes, I called Apple support. Yes, I looked up online to see what was going on. And unfortunately, it seemed like the only fix was to send it away to Apple. There's even a guy with a YouTube video talking about it, and he said at the time that Apple claimed that no one else was having this problem. That's funny, because I find articles from last year with lots of me toos. And that guy didn't get his back for two stinking weeks. Two weeks! Like, you have no idea how badly this grenaded my day's work. I was supposed to get a drum thing video out. Notice I haven't done one of them in a while because I was troubleshooting my two and a half thousand dollar display. Just show the pixels! Show the pixels! I have CRTs that are still working! But uh-oh, I didn't buy it from Apple directly. And usually that means nightmare. Because now you got two companies to get through to try and get this thing fixed. And well, I'm stuck with this big $2,500 lump of rubbish. I need to go buy a new display anyway. Literally, I needed a display that day. I have stuff to do. So I'm like, well, I'm going to JB's anyway to pick up an LG whatever. I dragged it down there, and I was honestly ready to have to eat the cost of this thing. Because honestly, I don't want another one. Because <laughs> that's the worst bit, is that's all they're going to offer me is another one. I don't want another one of these stupid things. To know that it's just one update away from being balked and being useless. Like, my whole business is ground to a halt because of this thing. I took it down to JB's, mate, explained what was going on. They said, okay, look, we're going to take it round back and shoot it. No, we're going to take it round back and see what happens. And sure enough, she was balked. Funny enough, a lot of the troubleshooting steps are unplug it, wait 15 minutes, plug it back in, and unplug the USB-C and plug it back in. Well, you know, I tried that, they tried that, nothing. So while they were sorting that out, I was monitor shopping, and I found some sort of 32-inch Samsung thing. I have actually had some pretty stinky bad Samsung displays, but this guy was the best one they had in stock. JB's approached me and said, yep, she's dead, she's balked, and, um, we can give you a refund. And I said, excuse me, what? And they're like, yep, yeah, hey, we can give you a refund. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> All of a sudden, the scope of this changed. Literally, in my mind, I was thinking, great, this $2,500 display that I'm just gonna get another one of that I don't want. I'm basically gonna lose this money. It was now coming back to me. And the game had changed. It was, how much cool tech can you get for the price of one Apple Studio display. I go to the JB's a lot. On you, Justin, you're always helping me out. And uh, mate, let's just say we did a little bit of shopping. So yeah, look, I got a 32 inch Samsung 4K thing. I've had some pretty crappy Samsung displays. There's nothing special, 60 hertz, other colors accurate. I don't even care anymore. If I need accurate color for stuff, mate, I'll use the MacBook Pro screen. Oh, and also a uh, Zelda special edition OLED switch with both Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Dingus. Sanic Mania, which I've been meaning to play. A stinking Charizard controller, because like, you know, Charizard, mate, is OG, huh? The Punos X8, we'll talk about that in a bit, mate. The entire collector's edition of Angry Beavers. That's a, that's a special one, I love that show. Oh, and not a big deal, mate. A stinking Xbox Series X. A whole stinking console with Forza included in the box. Just one of my favorite racing games. There was even 50 bucks left over to donate to a kid's charity for homelessness. Yes, all of this for the price of one Apple Studio display. And the best part, that Apple display's gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't want it. As I said, something that's just one bad update away from being completely balked. The fact that you just can't use old firmware just to get it going again. I don't care if it says, oh, you can't use your webcam without your proper firmware. Just make the pixels work. It's a display. As a professional bit of kit, I just can't trust it anymore. Which sucks because, yeah, when it was working, it was great. I was hoping to get 10 years out of it. I got two months. <laughs> <laughs> and I killed it being responsible. <laughs> Even this copy of games still works better than the Apple display. And yeah, I'm still behind in my work week because I had to spend ages troubleshooting and going to JB's and, and shopping, which was fun. That did make up for it. And yeah, I'll never get one of them again. No thanks. And well, <laughs> that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinking names right here, because, mate, one day a month, I do extra videos, but there are extra videos on Garbage Time, which is my car thing, and the drum thing, which is my drum thing, and then I stream drums on Float Plane. Frank's on Float Plane. Like, you can watch her sit in a box and do nothing. But, mate, one dollar a month, extra dank miss. I mean, dank pod. Sorry, I've been thinking about dankness too much. We're gonna look at the Poonos. <laughs> at first, I'm like, do not. So I'm like, no, 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 no. It's Poonos. <laughs> <laughs> the poo tab. Before this video ends, I'm just gonna say never buy cheap tablets like this. Oh my gosh, just get a used iPad. This iPad 4 from like 11 years ago runs better than these things. These always have the same guts in different bots. Never get these. We're gonna open this and just yell at it. <laughs> That's all. We're just gonna yell at it. So thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time. If you're wondering what would happen if I just left the door open, well, this is mainly it. I mean, she's got it pretty good in there. Like, all the bum smells she can handle. You know, so I'll open up the door and no, Frank, Frank says no.